So today it is just me and you because Shala is here on Koh Penyang doing a yoga course, a yoga teacher training course. So she is going to be busy for the next month. She might join us a little bit on the weekends, but for six days a week, it is just going to be me and you. So let's go and explore Koh Penyang. Shala is doing her yoga course in the lovely little village of Sri Tanu, which is where most of the yoga centers are. There's a lot of meditation and health and wellness here, and there's some really good food. So let's go and grab breakfast. The food here is so incredibly healthy. I mean, all of the places along this strip in Sri Tanu, they're all super healthy. And as you can see, look at this, avocado on a croissant cross with a waffle, stacked up. It's just beautiful, a lot of color, really lovely. Okay. Breakfast all done, and now let's go and find some wheels for the day. Can I hire a motorbike? Motorbike for the day? I have a used motorbike for Hana. Two, two fifty baht. Two fifty baht. Okay. This year model, this year about for seven month old. Okay. Yeah. Seven months old. Yeah, two thousand seventy-three. Okay. Model. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we're ready to go, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, where do I go? Raham. Raham over there, this road. Go straight, go straight. Okay. So, we'll about 15 minutes. Okay, cool. Okay. Have a good day, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have a bike. We're ready to go. Let's do it. <laughs> Just had to stop off and get some fuel because um, we only had a little bit in the tank. Um, but I found a petrol station. You can get some places that are next to the road and they're just like bottles of gasoline. But they're usually about 50 baht and here is less than 40 baht. So a little bit cheaper if you go to the petrol station. Um, let's go for a mission. so free to be out on the schooner. I've spent the last week just rotting in the uh, at the place we're staying at. I got my quarter flu. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe it was just the, the full on travel that we had over the last six weeks. But uh, for the last week, I've just been laid down going from basically the bed to the restaurant to get some nice healthy food and then back to bed just trying to recover, recuperate, ready to explore more of this island. But I'm really, really excited to be finally out exploring again. It's been like it's been a good couple of weeks. It's been tough, but we're here. The sun's out and um, it's a beautiful place to explore. It's just so exciting to be out again. <laughs> I must say those roads are exhilarating. The, um, there's quite a lot of dust and dirt across the road uh, in some places and there's water you got to get through as well and sometimes you get a car behind you or a truck behind you and you got to kind of boost a little bit but uh, I found a little place to stop it is called Secret Beach I'm gonna go down and have a little nosy
such a cool little beach. It's actually quite blue ocean out there today. Nice little bit of sand to sit on. And I'm just taking a walk down towards what looks like a bit of a jungle place um, at the end of the, the headland here, the little peninsula. And it looks super cute. There's loads of ropes hanging from the tree. Look at this swing. <laughs> Check this place out. It's a restaurant. We've got some kayaks available. Wow. It's a lot of work being put into this place. There's swings everywhere. This is such a cool place. The restaurant overlooks the beach back here. Look at all of this stuff hanging in the trees as well. There's some kind of seeds here. I think there's actually like a treehouse part. Let's go up and have a look. Shoes off. Wow, this is so cool. I really like it. It's, yeah. Wow. Platform up here and then over here. You can see there's another treehouse. Wow. Imagine building this, coming up with this idea. The waves are quite wild out there today. Right. But man, this is a cool place. Fruit smoothie? Smoothie? Smoothie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I just feel like a big kid today. Charlotte's not here and I get to do whatever I want. And I've come to this place, it's just... I don't know, it's so, it just feels like I'm on an island, which I am, I know, but this place is just really, I don't know, it's halfway between like a really nice classy restaurant and halfway between like shipwrecked on an island, you know, like all of this discarded um, rope and everything that they've used to kind of style the place. It's just really cool. I feel like I'm on holiday mode now, I'm feeling good. Got a nice my fruit smoothie and I'm just chilling here. This is a beautiful, beautiful beach. And it looks awesome from the sky too. Okay, cool. So Secret Beach, definitely one to check out and then make your way around to Koraham as well. The beach bar and restaurant is spot on. Lovely, relaxing, good food, lots of places to chill and hang out and just a wonderful environment. made my way to Salad Beach. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm after a salad or not, but we'll see what's here. It's just so cool cruising around, uh, just finding spots that look like they're interesting, checking it out, doing a bit of a recce. So today being the first day out and about, I am just checking out all the different local spots, seeing what maybe we can come back to and include in a bigger, more uh, comprehensive vlog with Charlotte. So this is a bit of a Ricky mission. Let's go to a viewpoint now. Oh, hang on, hang on. A bit premature there, a bit excited. All right, let's go. Oh, 
Okay, just pulled up to the lookout. I can't drive up there. Google Maps was telling me to drive up this, but look at this. It was a little bit sketchy and I thought, I'm by myself. Charlotte told me to be good today, not to take any risks. So the lookout that I'm going to is the Komar viewpoint. And Komar is like a little island connected to the mainland by like a sandbar. So I think at certain tide times you can walk there. So hopefully we can see it from up here. Beautiful sunshine still. Still having a fantastic day. Let's see if we can see it. It's a bit steep though. Look at this. Sheesh. Okay. Viewpoint, relax. Well, I'm looking forward to that. That was not worth the trek up here. Unfortunately, it is a chill out space. <clears throat> people up there like half asleep. I think people up there having a bit of um, a smoke up there. There's like a weed bar. You can get some weed up there, chill, take in the views. You can't see uh, Koma up there. Well, I couldn't see it anyway. So I'm gonna head down um, find another little spot nearby, see if we can find something a little bit more lively. There's a crazy dog up there that was chewing everything and chewing me, so I'm out of there. Let's go somewhere else. Okay, I made it to Koma Beach, and it looks like you can walk across the sandbar. There's people out there. This looks very, very cool. Let's go and check it out. The island is there, people walking across. I think this is a drone shot for sure. five now in front of Koma and I have got myself some fried rice. Mm. I was getting a bit hungry so this is hitting the spot. And then we're gonna push on to the next adventure. From this point up in the far northwest of the island of Koh Panyang, I decided to head right down south to the infamous full moon party beach, Hard Rin. The drive took about 45 minutes down one of the main roads of the island before I got to the southwest coast and continued along the beach until I got to the peninsula at Hard Rim. I've come all the way down to Hard Rim Beach now. This is where they have the... This is the monthly full moon parties. Um, but I'll admit I'm a little bit lost right now, just trying to find my bearings here. It's quite a like windy little alleyways and streets with resorts, private roads and things. So um, I might go to, oh, I can see the beach there. It's nice. Uh, there's another beach I want to check out down this way. It's called Leela Beach. So we'll head there now. Okay, I think I'm in. Look at this. It's super nice down there on Leela Beach, but I am mindful of the time because I'm heading back to Orion for a Reiki session later this afternoon. I think it's gonna take me about 40 minutes to get back, but there is one more viewpoint I want to check out before we leave. Let's go. Golly, 
I've made it to the viewpoint, but I'm getting absolutely slammed by mosquitoes. So I think we're going to have to abort this one. Let's go. Oh dear. Bloody mosquitoes. Too many mosquitoes here. Sheesh. Okay, one last stop. I saw this place as I was coming towards Hudrin. It looks so nice. Beautiful ocean view. Let's go and get a cold drink. Look at this view. And I think that is Koh Samui over there. Okay, guys. Mango passion fruit smoothie to finish off the day. This beautiful view overlooking Koh Samui. I'm heading back to Orion Resort now and I will catch you guys in the next adventure. This was only just a quick little recce, a little like explore of the island and to see what it has to offer so that next time I can go out with Charlotte um, I've got a good idea of where are some good spots we can go and we can make a full proper guide to Koh Panyang for you guys so make sure you subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!